Forecasters at the Climate Prediction Center expect La Nina conditions to have a major impact on our winter weather here in the U.S. This year's La Nina could be on the stronger side too. A La Nina watch is issued when a La Nina could soon form. Our watch, however, was recently upgraded to a La Nina advisory, meaning it's here now and expected to continue. There's an approximately 85% chance this La Nina could continue right through the months of December, January, and February. I would say those are pretty good odds, wouldn't you? So let's talk about what a La Nina is and how it impacts the world's weather. Let's start in the Pacific Ocean. This is where the action happens. During a La Nina, the trade winds, which blow from east to west, get a lot stronger. This affects both the ocean and the atmosphere. In the ocean, warm waters get pushed to the West Pacific due to the more intense wind, allowing cool water to bubble up to the surface of the East Central Pacific. In the air, the walker circulation gets stronger, which is the circulation of air rising over the warm waters and sinking back down over those cooler waters. The jet stream is reshaped as a result changing our weather patterns. Its impacts are felt far and wide too, not just in the U.S., but around the world. It's to blame this year for more hurricanes in the Atlantic, flooding in Australia, you name it. You've probably heard of La Nina's brother too, El Nino, which is the total opposite of a La Nina. Their origins date back long ago as fishermen off the coast of South America would notice the change in ocean temperatures and the weather that would soon ensue. Researchers today, however, use the Ocean Nino Index, leveraging the latest science and technology to know exactly when these will form.